Hi everyone, Tori here for a quick project life process video. This one is number 60, it's called Stay In. And I am scrapbooking some photos from last year when we had some friends over from the African Children's Choir. We had like a staff night, stay in kind of thing. And we watched some TV, we made um, Asian spare ribs, which were delicious, and we played apples to apples, a really fun board game. And I am using the um, this awesome kit um, called the Home Bodies Kit from Feed Your Crafts and Brandy Kincaid, and I just love these cards. I love the design so much, and I was so excited to be able to use them in this page. Oh, and by the way, I always forget to say this, but I am using a Project Life page protector here. I'm using Design A. So this kit came with this beautiful paper with houses on it, and I absolutely knew I wanted to use this. So I just cut my own 4x6 cards um, out of the paper and added those to the top and to the bottom and then I also added this card why go out when you can stay in which I thought was sort of a cute card for like a staff night in kind of thing and then that project life card that I've placed in the middle there with hearts is from my stash um, it's from a core kit can't remember which one um, and then I'm also going to grab some other cards just to place behind the photos that I have there because they're not a true three by four four by six and I'm just gonna grab some other cards like I grabbed this one that had the emoji face on it and I don't actually use the emoji I just use it as a white card and then I'm just looking to see if I have any three or any four by six cards that I could place behind and honestly I'm sorry guys that I can't always tell you where my um cards come from the way that I store my project life cards is like if they come in a kit like after the month is done they just sort of like go into my stash by color and it oh also if you're wondering how I store my project life cards um I have a workplace Wednesday video where I show you so you can go check that out um so if you really want to know where a card comes from just leave me a comment and I'll do my best to try to figure it out or remember where I got it um, I try to remember to say if I know, but if I don't know, that's when I don't say. So, But again, if you guys want to leave me a comment, feel free to do that. Okay, the other day, I think it was Bev or somebody left a comment saying, asking me about the bells that are in my videos. And I'm so sorry about those. I always forget to close my um my outlook and my mail. And whenever I get an email and I'm doing a voiceover, there's like a bell that rings. So I'm really sorry about that. And if that annoys you, I'll try to do better, I promise. Um, I think Bev was wondering if it was Bernie playing in the background, but it's totally just my computer. Um, okay, back to what I'm doing here. I decided that I didn't really like the background behind the apples to apples cards. So I ended up just fussy cutting those out um, to place on the three by four card that I had there. And I don't normally like photos cut out like that, but I felt like for something like this, it didn't really matter. Um, I don't know. I felt like it looked better on the background like that than to have like the really busy, ugly background on there. So that's a tip. If you have a background that you don't like or it's the wrong color, you could um, do that. <laughs> So now that I have all the cards laid out and the photos laid out where I want them, I'm going to add some embellishing. So I had these like wood veneer sticker pieces um, from my Take 10 kit this month. And I think they're partial kits from somewhere. Can't remember where. Um, but I'm just going to add a couple of those to the Why Go Out When You Can Stay In. And then I also had these freckled fawn um, stickers and there was this one that had star and I stuck it down and then I ended up not liking it so I wanted to pull it off but it left a white mark so I ended up sticking it back on <laughs> so whatever <laughs> everything can be fixed right <laughs> and then I had these gold foam thicker pieces and I wanted to try to use those on the page ended up using them on that heart project life card and to be honest I'm not like crazy about the way that card worked out but my opinion is always it's better to have it done and in your in your album than not done and on your computer, right? So 
it's done, it's in the album, I can move on. So next to add my next embellishments, I decided to go to the labels from the Felicity Jane cut apart sheet and it's printed on sticker paper which is awesome because once you cut them out they're stickers. So there was one that said something about playing and I add that to the apples to apples card and then I added a label to the photo in the bottom um, right to journal about who was there and what we did for dinner and everything which was sort of a fun way to document um, this day. And then I wanted to stamp the date, but then I couldn't remember what the date was. So I ended up just doing the month and the year because I did know that. And the truth is, like if I if I don't know the exact date years from now, that's not really gonna matter as much as like knowing roughly when it happened. So yeah. And then I'm going to my trusty rhinestones, which are my favorite embellishment right now. And if you guys are looking for rhinestones, totally go check out your dollar store because that's where I found these. And I paid a dollar for like thousand rhinestones, which was amazing. And I just love them and I've been using them on everything. And then I also added one of those cork glitter um, hearts, which I think comes from Say La Vie collection. And that's it for this layout. I'm going to slow it down and hold up the cards for you. So if you have any questions, let me know. And don't forget to check out Felicity Jane kits or Take 10 if you're interested in those. Or even the Home Bodies kit, which I used here, which is stunning. And you can find that um, on Etsy from Feed Your Crafts. Okay, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me. And I really hope you have a lovely day. Oh! I forgot to say, I have a Facebook group. I'll leave a link below if you want to join my Facebook group. Um, we're having lots of fun over there. Okay, now, bye. <laughs>